Today we will be playing the all-new Disney Illusion Island. But before we do that, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe for more content. With that being said, let's get into it. Mickey comes into the picture from the bushes, with his nose deep into what appears to be a map, and on his way to a picnic. The drawing looks exactly like what Mickey sees before him. Nope, this is it. And look who has showed up, cutting her way through the bushes. It's Minnie. They're both are so excited to see one another. Mickey and Minnie theatrically greet each other. I got the map you sent. Look, they both have maps in their hands. Each think that the other has sent them a map showing them how to get to the picnic. What's going on here? Donald Duck has made his way to the friends with map in hand as well. Something really strange is going on here. Hopefully the friends can find out soon. Goofy has a map too. Goofy positioning system. <laughs> Mickey is trying to piece things together. We got maps to this island, but we didn't send them to each other? That's so strange. They realized they didn't send sure the maps is. to each other. <laughs> if they didn't want? send them, then who did? <laughs> Mickey declares that the gang of friends must find out who sent the maps. We gotta get to the bottom of <gasps> Mickey has been interrupted by a mystical Am sound. The friends Does wonder what could it be. Sounds like I agree with twinkling. Goofy. It definitely sounds like mystical twinkling. The gang out. will investigate the sound. <gasps> Donald Duck notices that the mystical twinkling sound is coming from the same direction as the signs with the picnic baskets are on. Mm -hmm. They will follow them. <gasps> Gosh. Goofy seems to still be oblivious to the matter that the friends are facing. Minnie being the good friend that she is, gives him no reason to believe that the picnic won't happen. Mickey will set off to investigate the sound. Before we go further into the investigation, you are allowed to choose one of the four characters. Mickey, Minnie, Donald, or Goofy. My question is, who would you choose to go on the adventure with? There's a sign with a picnic basket on it. Mickey will continue to follow its arrows. Hopefully, he will soon have answers. Whoa! Is that a dancing cactus? Mickey must jump to avoid it. There's a large bouncy object up ahead. Mickey spots another sign with a picnic basket and an arrow. He'll continue to follow the sign's arrows. Mickey will jump over the purpley dangerous looking obstacle. More bouncy objects mean more platforms for Mickey to jump to. Another dancing cactus Mickey must avoid. Boy the spines on those cactus are really pronounced. Hey what's this? Mickey shares that the mystical twinkling sound is coming from behind it. The gang all pop their heads in to take a gander at what is behind the shrubbery. Any guesses on what it could be? It's a bookcase. Interesting. According to Mickey, seeing a bookcase in the middle of the jungle is normal. But making a twinkling sound is what makes it not so normal. Whoa! A strange figure appears to be doing a roll call. Who is this? They call themselves the Hokans and the leader, who is wearing the green crown's name is Toku. Hopefully she can give the gang some insight about what's going on. Goofy is so goofy. Take a look at Donald Duck. He really does not seem too happy with the interaction. This conversation forward? Mickey steps sure, in. <laughs> so, uh, are you the one who invited us here? I am. I it was Toku all along that misled the friends with the invitation to a picnic. I told you the truth. You might not have believed me. <laughs> yes, no, Donald, there's no picnic. Toku used a clever ploy to get you all to come to our meeting. 
Hearing that there will be no picnic and that he was tricked into going there, Donald blows a gasket. Minnie calms him down and suggests that they listen to Toku's reasoning behind the deception. We're in desperate need of your help. Impressed with the gang's heroics in the past, in Toku essentially recruited the gang for the job of saving the island of Monoth. <laughs> Look at the Hokans in the back. Are they trying to convince the gang to sign up for the job of saving Monoth by showing their admiration for them? One of the Hokans even has a picture of Daisy on its shirt and a question mark. The gang will huddle and discuss. Do you want to be real heroes for a change? Yeah. Well, I think if others are in need, we should help them. And if that makes us heroes, then let's be heroes. Mickey and Minnie sharing a quick moment. Neither of them mind saving Monoth. Donald Duck is the only one of the friends that needs convincing to be a hero. Let's see if they can make it happen. Toku is relieved that the gang has offered up their help to save their home. She goes into the story of the bookcase to better help the gang understand the importance of the books. Interesting. Of course the books are gone goofy. Yes. That's why you and the gang are here, to help get them back. Toku explains that the gang will be on search for the three powerful books that will allow Monoth to continue to prosper. Without the books on the shelf, Monoth will experience disaster. Gosh, what happened to the tomes? Evil thieves from the Toku goes into how Monoth thieves stole the books for their own desires so as a Hokan plays sad music on a violin in the background. What Goofy and Donald Duck thought, thought about the Hokans and why they couldn't get their toem back was correct. We were too weak. Too weak. Goofy and Donald Duck are not helping at all with Toku and the Hokans problems thus far. Toku is getting annoyed. The point is, we need help from outside heroes. Toku takes the time to marvel in the gang's heroism. Amos, your bravery, legendary, to put it simply, you're, you're just Toku has a wonderful a support system with the Hokans behind her. What do you say? Sure. <laughs> of course. You Donald Duck is unfazed. Donald? It's going to take much stronger convincing of Donald Duck to get him on board with saving Monoth from disaster. <laughs> Toku sweetens the pot and now everyone is on board with saving the island of Monoth. Oh, wonderful! You must travel to the three biomes of Monoth and retrieve the tomes of knowledge. But be the recovering of the three tomes of knowledge will require traveling be and some unsavory interactions with the thieves. Blood? Toku explains that saying the magical words will help them on the journey of getting the books back from the thieves. These words, when spoken aloud, the word sequence will trap thieves will without trap a fight. Thieves. It's better than any can in him. There's no messy cleanup. So it's like a magic spell? Yes, Minnie, yes. that's exactly Just what it sounds like. Words. The magical words TBD, that should be said on the TBD, thieves to trap them is TBD, TBD, TBD. TBD, TBD, Goofy TBD, goofily repeats the magical TBD. words. Wait, are those placeholder words or the actual words? Yes. And we can use the spell on anybody? Okay. No, just the thieves. The gang is informed mm. that the magic that words can only be used on arbitrary. thieves, not just anyone. Yeah, much in life does. The journey to getting the tomes of knowledge books do. back to the Hokans the won't be that easy. Use the words to tap them. Yes. But it will only work when they're dazed. So they're daze them first and then rules. recite the magical words Such to trap the them. Nature of magic. Did Donald Duck just say he still wanted a cannon? Oh, got a question. Where's the picnic? Goofy still does not understand that there will be no picnic and that it was just a sham to get him and the gang to the island of Monoth. Deception. Oh, are there sandwiches? Wow. Goofy really is having a hard time keeping up. Don't you worry, Toku. We won't let you down. Thank Mickey you. gives Toku some much-needed positive Toku? words. Where can we find the tomes? I do not have the exact location. Minnie asks yeah, the best yeah. questions. But Too bad for this one question. Toku does not have the answer to. Part of Monoth. I suggest you travel to Terrarium Town within Pavonia. Toku was able to, to give information west. about this the last known sighting of a toem in Pavonia. 
That piece of information should help the gang out a lot to start. Mickey starts his journey to saving Monoth in excitement. Donald Duck has yet to be convinced to be a hero and help save Monoth, but he's dragged along anyway. Clumsy Ho Kin. Minnie tells the gang that they need to go through forgotten farmlands. But the jump there seems very difficult, impossible to make without assistance. Donald Duck goes for it anyway and utterly fails. It's too large of a gap for anyone to make alone. Donald Duck uses the bouncy object to jump back up to the gang to brainstorm ideas on how to get over the gap. Mickey forges ahead to find anything that will help him make large jumps. Well, what do we have here? It's a glint. Collecting glints will give extra hearts. Fortunately, these bouncy objects are all over the island. They are helping Mickey get to the places that are not too large of a jump to get to. One bouncy object after another. It seems that the places with the question marks on the signs are telling Mickey that he can't get to them just yet, until he search the island and find something that will get him high enough to make the jump. Mickey is jumping from here, there, and everywhere possible. He jumps down to collect the glimpse. This jump can't be made, so Mickey will jump down. And who could this be over here? He looks busy. Mickey will wait. It's a purple alligator. Mickey asks if there's a way to get across the gaps to Pavonia. They still have to reach forgotten farmlands. The friendly purple alligator offers up his help to the gang. Cool. He drums up something and gives it to the gang. What does he have for them that will get them across the large gaps? We shall wait and see. Mickey gets a jetpack. Nice. This will definitely come in handy. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Minnie gets an origami like giant paper plane. Uh... Since no one has introduced themselves, he is describing the friends as he sees them. Mickey is described as having distinctive uh... ears. Minnie is bow-tastic and pointing out goofy sweater. Goofy gets a spicy pepper as his way to propel across large jumps. Now for Donald Duck. Donald Duck is referred to as the sailor. Donald Duck is conjured up, what is called a rickety repeating rocket. Donald Duck is a bit worried about the safety of the rocket, seeing as though rockets can explode. His question seems to have been ignored for some reason, as the gang is sent on their way with their new transports. The purple alligator introduces himself as Mazzy. He already considers them friends as he poofs away. Awesome! <laughs> 
Poor Donald Duck never got his question answered. <laughs> that will wrap up the first part of the Disney Illusion Island gameplay. If you want to see Mickey use the new jetpack from Mazzy, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.